The headline reads, Governor Newsom jabs red states for books pulled in California. As he jetted off for a two-week family gay vacation, ha, <laughs> Freudian slip there, for a two-week family vacation, Governor Gavin Newsom jabbed his red state rivals with a selfie tweet showing him seated at a table with an artfully arranged stack of novels saying that he's, quote, reading some banned books to figure out what these states are so afraid of. The Democratic governor's office confirmed it was aimed at efforts in Republican-led Texas and Florida to keep controversial... Oh, it cut off the page. So we keep controversial books out of school libraries. It didn't take the Twitterverse long to point out that at least one of the four identifiable books in his stack, To Kill a Mockingbird, had been pulled from the curriculum recently by a California school district. They the pulled To Kill a Mockingbird? Yeah. Oh, get this. Quote, The woke progressives in California... Parentheses, Newsom voters, banned To Kill a Mockingbird for, quote, anti-racism purposes. Christina Pushaw, press secretary for Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, tweeted in response. And this is true. If you, a quick Google search will show you a list of books that are banned and using their definition, because it's not actually banned. I'm sorry, I'm going to follow my own rules here. A simple Google search will show you the books that were removed from many school districts in California's curriculum, including To Kill a Mockingbird, but also, and some of these don't even make sense to me, Mark Twain's The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. These are all books that in... Uh, book. It is. These are all books that in September 2020, the Burbank Unified School District in Los Angeles County dropped. So this isn't a conservative district. They dropped to kill, a Martin, to kill a Mockingbird, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, John Steinbeck's Of Mice and Men, and for that I can't even fathom why, other than he kills Lenny in the end, but I mean, fuck. Theodore Taylor's The K, and Mildred D. Taylor's Roll of Thunder, Hear My Cry, from its curriculum, and also in another school district, the graphic novel Mouse. Oh, this is in Tennessee. In Tennessee, the graphic novel... Mouse, M-A-U-S, a Pulitzer Prize winning graphic novel about the Holocaust, was removed citing its, quote, unnecessary use of profanity and nudity in its depiction of violence and suicide. So, yeah, I could see that. I haven't read Mouse, so I can't speak to the level. I mean, that's where it gets tricky, because some of the, some of the media about the Holocaust is, I would say, a little too harsh for certain age groups. Now, once you get to upper high school and or especially at the collegiate level, nothing's off limits. Hit them with the truth. Collegiate. I like that. Collegiate.